Okay, so Charlemagne, French badass, first Holy Roman Emperor, gave a bunch of dollars to artists and book learned types, pulled Europe out of the Dark Ages or something. You know, Charlemagne. Turns out, major wine lover. Always knew we liked him. Anyway, Chuck the Great felt bad for the Abbey of St. Andosh, seeing as they'd been kind of raised to the ground during an Umayyad invasion 50 years ago. He went to the abbot and said, hey, I have this pretty sweet hill in Burgundy. You can have it as long as you grow some Pinot Noir vines on it and give me the wine for free. It'll be great. And it was great for like 20 years. The only one who wasn't happy was Charlemagne's old ball and chain Luitgard. See, Chuck was an old man by now, so drinking his precious Pinot involved a little accidental splatter on his regal white beard. Pro tip, fellas, ladies love personal hygiene. Chucky went to his old friend, the abbot, and said, hey, I hear Burgundy makes some decent shard too. Help a brother out. So out came the Pinot, in went the shard, and there was much rejoicing. And to this day, that little hill in Burgundy called Corton has one lovely slope producing Chardonnay in a sea of Pinot. Corton, Charlemagne.